In this video, I'll show you how to merge and combine multiple rows of a Google Sheet into a single Google Slide presentation. Such a workflow is useful when you want to create personalized slides for each row but have them all in a single deck. For example, teachers can use the combined workflow to generate individual student reports and merge them into a single presentation that will be convenient to share and print. We'll be using Document Studio to automate the process of creating slides from rows in a Google Sheet. So let's get started. If you do not have the add-on installed already, please install it by following this link. It's also available in the description box below. This is a Google Sheet containing performance details of all the students in a class. We have their names, roll numbers, marks in three subjects and their final grade. We also have the profile images of the students stored in Google Drive and the links to the images are pasted here in the profile picture column. In this video, we are going to create individual performance reports for each of these students and combine them in a single Google Slides presentation. The Google Sheet is ready. Now let's move to Google Slides. Create a new presentation and prepare a template for the performance report. I have already created a template, so let's open it. Now in this template, we'll add variable fields enclosed in double curly braces wherever we want the student information from the Google Sheet to be filled. For example, this is where the student's name should appear. So, I'll enter student name here and enclose it in double curly braces. Similarly, I'll add more fields in the template. These variable fields should exactly match the column headers in the Google Sheet that contains the student details and they will be replaced with the actual values from the sheet. This is where we'll embed the profile picture of the student. This is the variable field for embedding an image. The second argument is the name of the column in the Google Sheet which contains the links to the images. We can also adjust the size of the image by specifying the width here. The template is now ready. Next, we'll create another Google Slide presentation. This will be the target presentation where all the students' reports will be combined and saved as a single presentation. For each student, first an individual report will be generated using the template we just created. Then, all the reports will be combined and saved in this target presentation. You can either create a new presentation or use an existing one. Now that this is done, we'll go back to our Google Sheet and let's launch Document Studio. Create a new workflow and give it a descriptive name. This is the condition section. By default, the add-on will process all the rows in the Google Sheet. But if you want the workflow to be run only for specific rows that match certain criteria, you may specify them here. I'll skip this for now. Document Studio is a versatile Google add-on that can integrate with popular apps including Airtable, Trello, WhatsApp and many more. To create slides from Google Sheet rows, we'll select the Append task from this list. Select Google Slides for the Target File Format field. Next, we'll choose the Student Report Slides template that we have created in the previous step. For the Target Document field, we'll select the presentation to which the individual reports should be appended or combined. Click Done and continue to move to the last step which is to save and run the workflow. You can just save the workflow here and run it later manually. For this video, I'll save and run the workflow right away. Queued rows are the rows that will be processed in this run. 
You can deselect one or more rows if you do not want those to be processed. Let's run the workflow. So all the rows have been processed and individual reports have been created for each student. You will notice that a new column is added to the sheet and it contains links to the reports created. Let's open the first one. And as you can see, we have been redirected to the target presentation and all the reports are saved here. Notice that in each slide, the variable fields have been replaced with the actual information for each student in the Google Sheet. So this is how you can use Document Studio to create Google Slides from rows in Google Sheets. If you found this video useful, do not forget to check out our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.